Edward was starting to realize the life of a pauper wasn't any fun at all. He missed the palace and the king and the queen. You're scaring my customers. Stay away from my restaurant, Papa. Pauper, I'll have you know I am the prince. I will have you thrown in jail for that. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, your highness. I didn't realize I was speaking to the prince of barbers. I didn't recognize you without your crown. <laughs> the servant told Tom the king was very ill. I fear my time is over. You are to be king, my son. It's happening. I can feel it. I'm about to die. I feel a little bit better. Oh, wait a moment. Ah, yes, that's it. I feel as right as rain now. The interrogation started with Father Lambert questioning her about the apparitions. But Father Lambert had already made up his mind. It is my conviction, as it did everyone with common sense, that your visions are false. I am going to close down this chapel. I am sorry, my child. Sire, you have no command to his Holy Mother, who does as she pleases here. Father Lambert was quite impressed by her words. Well, if what people say is true, then pray to her to show me the truth by sign or miracle, and I will do all that I can do to accomplish her will. But the little prince was too excited by his new adventure. You there. Who are you? Oh, I'm the little prince. I live on an asteroid far away. Over there. Oh, well, you're here now. Where are the people? There aren't any, apart from you and I. And as I'm king of this planet, that means I now have someone to rule over. What does rule mean? It means you have to do whatever I say. Now get to work and tidy this place up. It's filthy. Come on, come on, chop chop. But this isn't my mess. Then who do you suppose made it? Well, <gasps> since you were the only person here before I arrived, it must have been you. <gasps> INSOLENCE! On the next planet, there wasn't a single person in sight. Will you be my friend? Hmm, I suppose. But only if you tame me. What does tame mean? It means you will have to get me to trust you. Because I'm a wild animal, and I bite. Will you bite me? Yes, probably. Why? I'm a fox. It's what I do. I can't help it. It's my nature. But I don't want to be bitten. That's why you have to tame me. To stop me from doing it. And how long will that take? To tame a fox? Hmm, I don't know. I've never tamed one before. But I'd say maybe two or three months, maybe longer. Can't you just try not to bite me and we can see how we get along? I don't really care, though. You're just a little boy, and I have no need for you. I'm just a fox, and you have no need for me either. I do need a friend. Don't you have any? Just one. Rose. She's a flower. I have no need for a flower either. 
I do have need for some sausages, though. Do you have any? Sorry, no. So off the fox wandered, presumably to get some sausages. The little prince thought about Rose, all alone. He was starting to miss his friend. Saints. His employer let Luigi's family stay in one of his houses. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Dear, I have found a place for us to stay. Really? Yes. My employer has let us at one of his houses near the farmland. Marietta, go pack your things. Let's go to our new home. Thank you, God. Their neighbor Giovanni had a drinking problem. But he did like Maria, like his own daughter, as she often helped them with chores. Marietta, my child, I am feeling very sick today. Do you mind cleaning the kitchen a bit? Alessandro made a mess of it, trying to cook yesterday. Don't worry, I will take care of it. Would you like to have some soup? That would be a pleasure, darling. You are such a good girl. <laughs>